Hey Taurus, how are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading for July 2024 for my Taurus out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to take a look and we're going to see what messages are coming in for you guys in love, romance, and partnership. Um, this is for, again, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You could be a Taurus or your person could be a Taurus. Please do take a resonance and leave the rest, okay? Let's just jump right in. Today, we're going to start off with your challenge like we always do, right? Um, if you enjoy these readings, do let me know, okay? Connect with me um, here, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all of the above. I'd love to connect with you. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on. What's going on with my Taurus out there? What do they need to know pertaining to their love life? We have one card, uh, two cards, okay? Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Some of you guys are going through marital issues. There could be a commitment that is feeling uh, like it's struggling. It feels like you guys are drowning, okay? It feels like there's something that may have broken down. The foundation wasn't built uh, on a very solid structure, this also could be a very non-committal energy. So maybe there's someone that you were committed to that hasn't really been committed to you, okay? Um, so I feel like you're committed, right? But they're not as committed as they could be. The challenge is to come together in the home front, okay? Family, home, structure. Some of you guys, this is your twin flame with the four wands. But there's the energy of like, I want to come together. I want to live in a harmonious um, you know, loving relationship, right? This really talks about peace and harmony. So yeah, I definitely get a sense of the Ten of Pentacles in the verse. Something here has changed where things aren't as stable as it could be. In a recent past, what you need to know, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Empress in the verse. A lot of you may have found that you were holding on to something um, and it feels like you didn't want to let it go, right? Because there's a situation here that has not been growing, that has not been prosperous, that, uh, <laughs> that has not been being, um, I'm getting nurtured, right? There's something here where the Empress to diverse, some of you guys, you are the divine feminine. You have not been respected and cared for, right? Protected. And so there's a situation here that has not been coming together. It has not been growing the way you want it to. Now, with the Ace of Wands, I guess, definitely get a sense this is someone here, maybe a fire energy, fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, someone here that you have the hots for. There could be a lot of attraction, a lot of desire and passion, right? But I just get a sense that this is someone that has not been treating you the best towards, okay? Especially if you are that Empress energy. Um, we do have the Four Pentacles where a lot of you, you may have felt the need to just like, I'm getting like, keep what you have. Okay, some of you guys, you've been afraid of change. You've been afraid of this person leaving you, okay? Or, you know, not having what you have uh, in the past, okay? There's something about change coming in, and a lot of you guys have been resistant to change. There's also a lot of guarded energy here. Now, let's see what the energy is right now. Ace of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. For some of you, there could be a fire sign coming in to apologize for something they've done. Very, very um, quick moving energy. Someone is very passionate. They, they're showing that they care. Um, I see a lot of action, movement, change coming in. And with the Ace of Swords, someone here may be wanting to open up a dialogue with you. Let's have a conversation. Let's talk about something here. Um, and with the Ace of Swords, Typically, it's very honest and truthful. It's someone that's very direct, very matter of fact. Um, they could be coming in and telling you something that you do not know right now, Taurus, right? Um, it could be the only, it could be the truth, but it also could be an apology coming in with that, okay? It could be a very loving, okay, energy as well with the Page of Cups and Ace of Swords. So maybe someone is expressing how they feel along with some kind of really honest, truthful communication. But I definitely get a sense of Page of Cups. Someone is like, I'm sorry. I care for you. I'm thinking of you. I miss you, right? Page of Cups. So yeah, Taurus, you could definitely be expecting or, um, you know, if you have not been expected, you know, this is someone that could be coming in and, you know, having some really important conversation with you. It could be a new beginning of something with the ace, right? Aces are new beginnings. It's um, it's a new opportunity, okay? To maybe have communication with someone that maybe you have not been having communication with, okay? Um, and I almost feel like this is someone that's going to initiate it with the Knight of Wands. Let's take a look at what they're 
thinking about and dealing with. Two of Wands in reverse, Seven of Cups in reverse, Nine of Cups in the Magician in reverse. Someone definitely feels like um, they tricked you, they've lied, they've deceived you. There may have been a lot of confusion, a lack of clarity with regard to how they feel for you. Someone here also could be admitting the simple fact that they were being a little bit selfish. They were only thinking about their needs and their own happiness. Now, I definitely get a sense of someone is ready to make better decisions. Maybe there was something that they've been on the fence about regarding you and them for some time. And now they're choosing a direction, okay? I also get a sense of someone is like, I'm not happy where I've been. And I want to manifest some kind of change with you. I want to create an opportunity for you and me. Um, some of you Taurus may feel like this person has been a trickster. They've been deceptive in some way, okay? You may not trust them. So I definitely get a sense that, yeah, you know, you could be on the fence. You could definitely have your guards up because of that lack of trust. All right. The outcome is the Eight of Swords in reverse. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. And that beautiful, beautiful Two of Cups. So coming in, Eights are changed. We have two Eights. So a lot of change coming in. I definitely see the Eight of Cups, which is typically a return of a past lover. Someone here that may have walked away from you. Maybe you walked away from them. Regardless, there's a return. Someone is returning back to the Two of Cups. Um, togetherness, a relationship, right? Where, you know, there's an energy of like, I miss you, I care for you. And also there's an emotional connection here. Now, in order for this to happen and work, the Eight of Swords in reverse, someone has to let go of some kind of anxiety, fear, idea, okay? That is not right. Eight of Swords, when you go around and around your head and you're feeling stuck and tied and bound, and it's telling me that someone has to let it go, let that go because that is getting in the way of something coming back to uh, where it was in the past. It's also preventing someone to return to you. So with the two of cups, I feel like you and this person could definitely come back together, but it's requiring, you know, someone to let go of their negative thoughts and thinking and um, in order to make that return. All right, Taurus, let's jump right in. Let's get some more insight. If you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's take a look. Four of Wands and a Ten of Pentacles. What is this about? This is the challenge. Coming together, harmony, peace, right? Ace of Cups in a verse. So yeah, there's been a falling out, this, a feeling of a missed opportunity. And it really comes down to, with the Ten of Pentacles, stability and security. But also stability in terms of emotional stability, right? Because Ace of Cups. Someone feels like, you know, you, you didn't show that you loved me. You didn't love me hard enough, right? You weren't there for me. You weren't attentive to my emotional needs, right? So that's why something has fallen apart. And the challenge is to kind of like bridge the gap, right? Come together, four wands, create harmony. Um, give me the recent past with the ace of wands, the empress in reverse, and the four pentacles. King of wands in reverse could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. We have the emperor in reverse, and we have the wheel, so someone definitely here was um, doing what they wanted to do and wasn't thinking about the connection. I also feel for some of you, there could have been a third party situation or someone that was just like, I'm getting like a double life, right? They were um, playing this role with you, but also had another whole role they were playing behind the scenes, okay? Whatever happened, Taurus, is tell me that something happened for a reason and it was necessary because there will be some kind of good fortune that's going to come out of it. The wheel, okay, feels like something is moving in the right direction, even though it feels like things have taken a turn for the worse, okay? Um, I also feel a new beginning. Some of you guys may have decided to do something different. Ace of Wands is very fiery, is very magnetic, is very passionate. Some of you guys, you found passion in a new sport or new hobby, um, new activity, right? And it feels like you're going down the right path. Um, some of you guys, you picked up learning tarot, right? It could be something like that. Now, let's take a look. The Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands, and a Page of Cups. Six of Swords in a verse, Eight of Pentacles in a verse, and High Priestess in a verse. Something here is coming out and it's going to be revealed to you. This could be a Pisces. Something here is coming out and it feels like the veil is coming off about time, right? There's also maybe, again, communication that's coming in. So maybe someone is communicating the truth or some kind of secret, some kind of secret life, or, you know, it could be literally a secret, right? What I also feel like someone is finally telling the truth as to why they weren't able to commit or put in the work at the time. There's something that they want to resolve and heal with you with the Six of Swords in reverse. There's the energy of going back to something here and finally dealing with it, resolving it, 
okay so if your person has been kind of like sweeping things under the rug it's like no more right i'm ready to finally dress this i'm also ready to apologize for whatever i did that hurt your feelings right someone is definitely apologizing here so a lot is coming out and it feels like someone is confident that this is the way to go about it right all right let's take a look two of wands and the seven of cups in reverse the sun the ten of swords in reverse and the hangman could be a pisces or leo the energy is telling me that someone, after a lot of back and forth, they're kind of choosing a new direction um, that's going to make them happy. The sun, big, big breakthrough energy. This is also truth, clarity, a lot of healing opportunities coming in with the sun. And it really tells me that there's something that's being recovered, right? The Ten of Swords in the verse. If you've gone through some kind of really difficult betrayal and ending, there's the energy of recovering, letting that go, okay, and moving past it. There's also a situation here that is teaching you something Taurus because the hangman you're seeing something from a different point of view a different pair of lens maybe you didn't see it this way in the past but now you are so there's clarity in what you want there's clarity in how you feel especially with regard to someone Taurus because maybe someone is becoming more clear about how they feel for you I feel like someone who may have had other options in love in the past no longer has those same options they may also have felt like those other people have um, destroyed what they had with you. So now they're ready to fix it. So a lot of clarity, a lot of truth, illumination, and healing opportunities coming in, all right? I really think that hangman, especially if you're dealing with the Pisces, doesn't have to be. Someone is like, I see things now from your perspective. I, you know, I'm kind of putting myself in your shoes now, and I see it. I get it. The Magician in a Nine of Cups in reverse Four of Pentacles in a verse, four of Cups in a verse, and a hair front in a verse. Your person really doesn't want you to let go of this commitment they they have with you. Some of you guys are still in a commitment. Um, and there's a feeling of a missed opportunity. Don't let us go. Please don't do that. There's definitely energy of something here ending and someone is really fighting it. They're quite miserable. They're very unhappy, right? Um, so yeah, I think the Four of Cups is really highlighting unhappiness, disappointment, sadness, regret okay about something being over and done with something not manifesting and coming together so yeah i feel like your person could be in a very emotional place right now um and also like expecting that you are going to hold on to them for a much longer time coming in we have the eight of cups in reverse we have the two of cups and the eight of swords so there's a chariot in reverse could be a cancer we have the six of pentacles and the two of pentacles there's a lot of back and forth, okay? A lot of considerations here where the two pentacles, you could be literally juggling, okay? You could be going back and forth between two things, two options, or two paths. And it could be literally regarding coming together with someone here with the two of cups, right? Now, what it also tells me is that in order to come together with this person, you're having to maybe, again, let go of fears, anxieties, what ifs, okay? Because if you hold on to that, it's just not going to work, right? The chariot in verse, you're going to... Um, rob yourself of some kind of victory or opportunity here so i definitely get a sense that there is an adjustment that is coming in whoever is coming back in your life taurus with the eight of cups and a verse six of pentacles rest assured that it's going to be more balanced and fairer than it ever was right there's there's harmony there's a reciprocity energy coming in where you're having to decide like how you want to give right how you're wanting to contribute how you're wanting to show up that is what I'm seeing, Taurus. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and I'll check you guys out soon. All right, take care.